Senior lecturer in the Department of Physics at the University of Namibia, Michael Beck, says the astrophysics research is a prestigious project and good exposure for Namibia. Namibia is one of the preferred places in the world uh, to do astronomy from what, what some people quite, uh, may not know yet. Um, we are mainly involved into the High Energy Stereoscopic System, or in short HESS um, Observatory, which is a world-leading observatory in very high energy gamma rays, uh, one of only three of its kind in the world, and situated here since 2003. These telescopes are observing the most violent uh, processes in the universe. So everywhere where big explosions happen, where um, big things run into another and collide, that, that, that's the kind of, of, of stories that, that we are trying to investigate. Our undergrad students are particularly getting um, involved and exposed to very first hands-on data analysis, trying to see what, what is going on there, how, how, how these things are done. Um, but they, we also managed to regularly send some of them to the telescopes to do the night shift operations. Um, so as, as you can imagine, the telescopes are observing at night, but only if there's no bright moon out there, because it needs to be pretty dark. Um, and so we had quite a couple, something like six or eight students already going out to the, to the HES telescope, staying there for a full month and doing the nightly observing shifts. Currently, there are three Namibian PhD and master's students conducting their research in the context of high-energy stereoscopic system and gamma-ray astronomy in the Department of Physics at the University of Namibia. Today on one caught up with two of the students who shared their experience. Okay, when I was doing my honors, like I, that's when I was first exposed now to the gamma-ray astronomy or to astronomy in general. So I was working on data analysis, so uh, they helped to send us to the site where the telescopes are. Um, so we have to take data and those data are taken like during night when there's no moon at all. So that means dark nights because when the radiation comes or the light radiation is too faint, so if there's moon or any light then won't be, you will be confusing the photons actually from the what you call Cherango radiation with the normal photons of our lights. My first involvement was when I, I did the has shift. So has shift is just a data taking process and through that you learn a lot on, on handling uh, the data as well. The small telescopes of the HES have been upgraded, the, the readout electronics have been upgraded and I was uh, I joined the team from Germany that were upgrading. So I learned quite a lot on programming and yeah I've also learned a lot on, on electronics in general. The High Energy Stereoscopic System is a system of four 12-meter and one 28-meter diameter telescopes situated in the Comas Highlands about 120 kilometers in southwest of Windhoek.